what's going on guys welcome back to the channel yes you have tuned in to outdoors with creed and if you haven't already please hit that subscribe button down below and today uh, it's been a while since I've cleaned any of my guns especially the ones that I patrol with my Glock 22 uh, pistol and my AR-15 so I figured today would be a good day to come out to the shop that's where I'm at now I'm in the shop and I figured today would be a good day to get out here and clean my guns uh, it's been a while since I've shot them but just because I haven't shot my guns I still like to clean them uh, my rifle it sits in my patrol vehicle and it collects a lot of dust and stuff over time as well as you know when you got your pistol on you and the dust and everything that you know is floating around in the air is collecting on your gun and when it's sitting in your house and everything so even though I haven't shot the guns in a while I still like to run through them and clean them up just a little bit uh, your guns especially military law enforcement your guns is your it's your life support it is it, it basically is what is going to protect you when you're out there so you got to take care of your equipment make sure they're functioning correctly because the last thing you want to do is get in a situation where you have to pull that gun and fire it and it doesn't fire because you failed to do your maintenance on it so I'm gonna jump over here on the table and start cleaning my guns I'm sure y'all have noticed the strap that's because I'm wearing my, my chest camera so that way you guys will be able to get an angle of me at the table here cleaning my guns so again drop down hit that subscribe button smash that like button if you like this leave me comments about how I clean my guns or anything else I'll try to get back to you guys and answer them but uh, thanks for watching thanks for hanging in thanks for subscribing and uh, let's jump into it All right, guys, so here I have my AR-15. Uh, I've done a video on this gun already. If y'all haven't seen that, I'll link it uh, somewhere in the top corner. So that way you guys can see it. The only new thing that I've added to this gun is this laser right here. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, there's nothing super fancy about this laser. Uh, I bought this thing off of Amazon. It is a good laser, I will show you this. Hang on, let me adjust my camera real quick. It is a green laser. And it is a laser light combo. So that's that's the only new thing that I've added to this gun. Everything else is still the same. And so, alright. Let's jump into it. First things first, guys. Obviously, there is no magazine in this gun. But you always want to check and make sure that your gun is empty. Now, a second ago I noticed something here in between where my scope is at. So, here's what I'm gonna do. This is what I always normally do when I, when I clean my AR. I hit my, my takedown pin, and I just go ahead and break the gun apart completely. Now, there we go. And I will set one of these to the side. Now, one more other thing that I like to do, guys. Anytime I'm doing anything, I'm cooking, cleaning guns, whatever, I gotta have music. You guys won't be able to hear the music. I got one of my earbuds in, and so I will be listening to music. Um, I don't want to get in trouble for playing music and not having the movie music rights. So I got music in my ear. Sorry guys, y'all don't. Or how about this? Take that back. I can put some music in there for y'all, but it won't be the same thing that I'm listening to. So anyway, back to what I was doing. Gotta have my music always. Uh, this mat that I have here, I got this at Academy Sports for about 50 bucks. It is a diagram of an AR-15. There you go, so you guys can see that. It's a diagram of an AR-15. Tells you step by step how to take your AR-15 apart. 
Over on this side, it tells you how to break down the bolt carrier group. Then over here, it actually has your tools that you need. These two spots here is a magnet for your small screws and pins and whatnot. You open it up, you have a nice little diagram that shows you everything on how to break down your weapon. A few little cottons, brushes, you know, stuff that you need for cleaning an AR. Of course, I do have my other kit that I like to use. So, on the lower receiver, there's really not much you can do. So, now what I'm gonna do? There's my bolt carrier group, charging handle. Now I'm gonna unplug that because I want to get in here to see what that is. That's some kind of dirt in there. Now, normally guys, I don't normally do this much whenever I'm cleaning my gun, but, huh. So that little small piece that I was just talking about, it must have fell out of I guess it was just a piece of dirt that was in there. I normally don't do all of this when I'm cleaning my gun, but that had me very curious to see what that was, so that's why I'm cleaning that one. Okay, so obviously that stuff, it fell out, so it's no big deal now, so gonna go ahead and put this back on. Oh, I'm on my pressure switch.
Okay. Okay, guys. So I got that. Got that back on there. It took a while. Sorry. All right. So first thing I like to do. Not that good. Uh, I have a bunch of these. I got one more. I got. I say a bunch. I've only got three. I've got one for my 40 caliber pistols. One for my rifle, 22 caliber, 223, 556, anything within that size. And then of course my 12 gauge shotgun. Don't need that one because I don't have a 12 gauge out here with me. So what I like to do is just do a quick cleaning job. So I'll take my bore snake. And this is a real, real simple uh, cleaning that I'm gonna do here. So nothing like super crazy or anything but what I like to do take my my rifle set it up like this and then I'll just go ahead and drop that boar snake right on in there get that started okay. and then I have a can of CLP cleaner uh, this was something that they recommended whenever I went through the police academy to use for your Glocks and it's pretty good for anything but I like to take this and I don't know if you guys can see that but just shoot that in there like that and then I'm going to take the bore snake here Pull it on through. Now you might have to turn it and pull that way. Otherwise, your bore snake will get hung up. Let's see that? How I got the gun? And then I just like to pull that bore snake right on through. Yeah. Ah, the snake is kind of long, so it takes a while. But I'll do that maybe three, four times. Spray once, what I like to do. Spray once, and then run the snake back through it. Oh. Make sure you don't get anything tangled. Take my pressure switch off. Again, barrel pointed up towards the ceiling, but not straight at me, even though it's taken apart and nothing in it. The idea of a barrel pointed at you still just doesn't feel too good. Let's see, that was two. Now, if you have all the tools in the space, go ahead and take it apart. Clean your gas tube. I don't have all that, so I don't even worry about it. Oh, that was three. So that was good for me. Now, I like to I have an old brush in here that I've been using. So right now, I don't really feel like getting any of my new stuff dirty. I don't have to. You know, that's one of the good things about you know gun cleaning kits. Not like they spoil or anything over time. So. You don't have to feel like you go out and buy a new kit and then throw your other one away. That's pretty stupid. That's a waste of money, actually. But I'll take my brush and try to brush any spots that might have dust, carbon build, build up. You know, just trying to get into every little nook and cranny that I can to clean it. By the way, I, I do have another video that I did a while back on cleaning my pistol. And I'll put that video at the top also. So that way you guys can see how I do my pistol. And then some 
old cleaning rags that I like to use to wipe the outside of the gun. I didn't push any buttons to turn my, my red dot on because I hate for my battery to run out on me. So, now, got that clean, and then take your brush, again, you're trying to get any dust off of the parts that possibly could, you know, build up over time and foul up any moving parts. Not a whole lot you can do with this. Now, I'm not even gonna put oil here because that's your spring for your trigger. So if you put oil in there, oil and dust will cake up on you and that's gonna be really bad because you know, you gotta fire your weapon and it doesn't fire because you've got such a bad buildup of, of dust so I just don't even put anything there just take a brush and try to brush any dust out of there okay now that I've got that done I'm just gonna kind of turn that to get that out of the way Now, I'm not even going to break this down, even though I do have a diagram here showing me, and I have broken this down before, so I, I know how, but since I have not fired this weapon in a while, then I'm not even going to worry about it. I'm just going to take me a brush and just brush away any dust that might have built up on it from it sitting in my patrol vehicle. And like I said, take my rag and wipe it down. Now, my few tips here. This is your tube where your your gas when you fired the gun. Let's see here. Let's see how okay, so there's your firing pin right there. So after you fire, gas comes up through this tube, goes through your tube here. Or I'm sorry, when you fire the gun, the gas comes back through the tube here and comes back into this and this is what pushes back to eject that spent cartridge and put in a new round so I normally just like to take a q-tip and just try to clean that right there and make sure there's no carbon build up right there look at that yeah, still had a little bit in there
All right, so, and then of course your, your charging handle. I just wipe it down. Now, here's what I'm gonna do since I took all of this stuff apart. I'm gonna put all of this stuff back on first. That way, I've got all of this stuff back in place. you got your accessories on here nice and tight not too tight to where if you need to remove them you're having to overwork yourself but you don't want it too loose to when you're out shooting that your stuff is just popping off I've actually seen that one time uh, on the gun range one year uh, when I worked for an old department and one of the guys was shooting and he didn't have his uh, flashlight that he had on his pistol. It wasn't tightened down all the way and one of the times he fired, uh, his flashlight just popped right off. So. You want to make sure you got your stuff on tight. Not too tight to where it's becoming a hindrance to your performance of your equipment. Because apparently when you got flashlights mounted on the bottom of your pistols, uh, it can mess with the pistol cycling because it's squeezing that frame. So you want to make sure it's on there tight to where it's nice and secure, but not too tight to where it's becoming a hindrance. Okay, so there's that one. That's my flashlight. Now, I had this taped on here at one point, and I pulled the tape off because I was thinking about moving this. So right now I just have it kind of on there like that. And that's how that works. And then I set my laser here. Sometimes you gotta play with your equipment to see how you want things set up to where they're not in your way. All right, now to put this thing back together. Here's what I like to do. I have a bottle of frog lube here that I bought a long time ago. Long time ago. Look at that, still got it. And yeah, it's, it's leaning sideways, but that's from the way it's been sitting. This stuff melts pretty easy. So if I was to 
set this somewhere and let it heat up, it'll settle, and then just set it up like that, and it'll settle back down the way it's supposed to. But what I like to do is anywhere where you're gonna have a lot of metal to metal contact, I try to lube that area as best as I can. Because I know you can't get your finger in a lot of these places. One thing that I like to lube up really good is the bolt carrier glue. So don't be scared with this stuff. Now on your pistols, I will say again, the areas where you have metal to metal contact and even then you really don't need a whole lot so that to get that out of the way for now. What I should have done was this. I should have greased this up first. Or not really greased it up, but lubricated it. Your uh, charging handle. The charging handle actually goes in before the bolt carrier. So I should have did this one first. Together now, and then when you drop that one, push that last pin in, and you have reassembled your your rifle. Wipe down any excess uh, lubricant, uh, whatever kind you might use. I know here soon I'm going to be switching up, getting me uh, some shooter lube. And if you want to get you some shooter lube, I'll leave a link to a guy that I know who sells shooter lube. He also does uh, concealed carry classes, as well as some tactical training classes. So I will leave a link to his information. Cycle through a couple of times. Flashlight, laser, laser light combo, everything is working good. Alright, and that gun right there is complete. So guys, thank you for watching uh, how I clean my rifle, disassembly, reassemble, all of that good stuff. Uh, if you guys got any questions, again, 
leave a comment below. You can also hit me up on my social media, on um, Facebook and Instagram, Outdoors with Free. And I will try to answer any questions that you guys may have. If I don't know those answers, I will try to figure them out and get back to you guys. But uh, that's all I got. So everybody stay safe out there on the range. For the guys in the military, thank you for what you do. I'm pretty sure you guys have noticed. I'm a military vet myself. So I love you guys. Thank you for what you're doing. Please be safe. Get home safe. Uh, to my brothers and sister in law enforcement, same thing. Love you guys. Stay safe out there on the streets, wherever you may be. And for the rest of you guys, stay patriotic. Love you. Make sure you hit that subscribe, hit that like button, hit the bell so you get notified anytime I do more of these videos. Let me know if you like them. Until the next time, be safe. See you guys later. So guys, thank you for watching uh, how I clean my rifle, disassembly, reassemble, all of that good stuff. Uh, if you guys got any questions, again, leave a comment below. You can also hit me up on my social media, on Facebook and Instagram, Outdoors with Creed. And I will try to answer any questions that you guys may have. If I don't know those answers, I will try to figure them out and get back to you guys. But uh, that's all I got. So. Everybody, stay safe out there on the range. For the guys in the military, thank you for what you do. I'm pretty sure you guys have noticed. I'm a military vet myself, so I love you guys. Thank you for what you're doing. Please be safe. Get home safe. Uh, to my brothers and sisters in law enforcement, same thing. Love you guys. Stay safe out there on the streets, wherever you may be. And for the rest of you guys, stay patriotic. Love you. Make sure you hit that subscribe, hit that like button, hit the bell so you get notified anytime I do more of these videos. Let me know if you like them. Till the next time, be safe. See you guys later.